watch party for Taylor Swift folklore. I will be up front. I don't really know much about Taylor Swift. I don't feel like I really know her music. So I'm just gonna like come at this with a clean slate. I really like her as a person, at least from what I've seen. Granted, I don't know her. So, but from what I've seen, I really like her. I just don't have an attachment to her music. Let's see what happens. You can't go into studios now because they're all closed and I've never recorded anywhere else. Um, and I know that other people do this all the time, so it's actually not that special, but I'm freaking out over it. <laughs> yeah, see, I like her. I just do. So over there is where my recording booth is, and then on the oh other side Oh my god! Wall, Laura! That is so ghetto looking, I love it! I'm freaking out, we've never done this. That is awesome. <laughs> this is crazy. When lockdown happened, I just found myself completely listless and purposeless, and it, that and that was in the first three days of it. <laughs> Damn, that means you're normally really busy. I, I didn't even tell my label until a week before we put it out. What was that and call like? Shit. Really? It was amazing. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be, I promise I know what I'm doing. I know that there's not like a big single and I'm not doing like a big pop thing and I'm not, but they, my label was like, whatever you want to make, like, we're down. That's awesome. That's way awesome. We were something, don't you think so? Roaring twenties, tossing pennies in the pool. If my wishes came true, it would have been you. God, it's so delicate and just beautiful how she just really kind of tells the story with her voice and allows the song to present itself. I, I really like that. You know the greatest loves of all time are over now. Yeah, so normally a pop song would have kicked in by now, but it's all, it's like she said, she's just breaking the rules in some ways and just allowing it to be what it is, what she needed. Ooh. Yay! Oh, that was beautiful lead in. I love that. I'm doing good, I'm on some new shit. And saying yes instead <laughs> of no, and I was like, is she talking about writing songs with me and everything else at the same time, or something? I there think was it like has a, a new. I think it has a double meaning. That I'm just gonna say yes to stuff. Yeah. And it worked out. I think that's beautiful. High heels on. I feel like I have reacted to this song before. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. That's pretty darn low as well in her voice. Dancing in your Levi's, drunk under a street light. I she really puts that back pressure. I knew you instead of I knew you. She really allows that weight to lift and come forward when she sings. Under someone's bed. Yeah, she really holds you back that sound and said I was to keep it that whisper brain. tone that is really her. So these are acoustic versions I'm figuring out because I've heard this before. So this has got to be like more of the acoustic version of it because it's just them. And when I felt like I was an old card again, was under someone's Yeah, bed. that low is so whispered. You put me on and said I was your favorite. I love that she refers it to cardigans and God, her, her lyrics, by far her lyrics are beautiful. It's like poetry. I knew you. Try to change the ending, Peter losing Wendy. Oh, that's a great line right there. But I knew you'd linger like a tattoo kiss. Knew ah. you'd haunt all of my what is. Yes. The smell of smoke smell. would hang around this I, I haven't given them enough I attention until now. I, I really young. haven't. I knew I'd curse you come back to me. She paused there so she could get a breath on you come back right before it because this is live but she did it so stylistically that you wouldn't even you wouldn't even have noticed Beautiful. <laughs> that was so fun yeah. <laughs> oh god this is such a blast does she smoke pot because i feel like she's just so kicked back like i could imagine her smoking a little doobie and just chilling and being like this is good in country music it's like this guy did this <laughs> then this woman did this yeah. then they met and their kid was me. Totally. Like, yeah, yeah. And I was that so man. Yeah, I was that yes, kid. About. Bringing the storylines all together. It's so true. It's so true. That's why I still listen to country music. So I love finding out the secret within it. And it really hits you in the gut when you hear that at the end. Thanks. Oh, I'm excited to hear it now. Becca rode up on the afternoon train. See, I don't know this song. I've never heard it. Parties were tasteful, if a little loud. The doctor had told him. Settle down, it must have 
must have been her fault his heart gave out oh what who knows if she never showed up what could have been oh because it's her fault what what is this story about fill the pool with champagne swam with the big names and blew through the money on the boys and the ballet oh that was cool i like how she kept the rhythm there but she changed the pitch more speaking there goes the loudest woman this town has ever seen She's really good hitting those high notes, yet keeping her volume super low. Marvelous time. So, did she move into this house? I don't understand the storyline of that I all the way. I only wish our other two co-writers <laughs> were here. William, I never got to meet. There's been a lot of discussion about William Bowery and his identity. It's not a real person. It's not? Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a bit. <laughs> what? Who? <laughs> when? So. William Bowery is Joe, as we know. I don't know any of these names that they're talking about. I have no idea who they're talking about. And we, when we talked about it, I was like, I think he's gonna be really inspired by this. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm really focusing too. Oh. This is a duet then. They're talking about the dude who's gonna sing with her named Justin. I can see you standing, honey, with his arms around your body. Why does he have a wrap around his face? Holding all this love out here in the hall. And the hat, and, the, and like he's like, like he doesn't want to show his face at all. You're not my homeland anymore. So what am I defending now? Whoa. Um, wow. That was super Ooh. low and beautiful. He jumps up into this gorgeous high note in there, like easily. Who is he? Second, third, and hundredth chances, balancing on breaking branches. Those eyes add insult to injury. I like how she keeps track of the smoothness and where she's placing her voice with her hand. So who am I offending now? You are my crown. This is low. Exhausting you out. This is beautiful. I've seen this film before And I didn't like the yeah, end he's feeling it too Yep Beautiful so what I, I wish you could see his face in this you are my town. What a quick jump there too I think that I've That I've I think that I've Falsetto chess, falsetto chess What a quick switch there I never learned to read your mind I like him like Telling you Falsetto, meh, back into chest. Beautiful. Is that hand again? I love that she just pulled away from the mic to help with the fade. She just naturally does it. This is great mic technique. It's definitely, I think, one of the saddest songs on the album. Yeah, I think it's one of the best songs you've uh, written. Picking a track five is, is sort of a pressurized decision, but I knew from day one this was probably gonna be it. Something about track five? I don't know the history of track five. Person in your life, and then they could go and become your worst enemy who Damn. knows how to hurt you because they were once your tr most trusted person. It's the worst betrayal. Yeah. Yeah, that is. It does remind me of people going through a divorce and having that person that okay. they swore to be with yeah. forever. It's very powerful to me. Oh, he likes this song a lot. You can tell. Even on my worst day, did I deserve, babe, all the hell you gave me? Jesus, that was gorgeous. <sighs> like, sucks you in. Cursing my name, wishing I stayed, but get out my tears, ricochet. That story is. And then the story setting for this, then we watch it. Talk about forcing you to fall in love with a song. The way that she floats off of her notes, too. Some to throw. That. It's a flip, but she also falls off the top of it. Have it in myself to go with grace. Yeah, that slide down. Have it in myself. Fight, you it was like, wait. To tell me I was brave. And it's a sad song, so it fits. Anywhere I want, just not home. Just not home. When I'm screaming at the sky, and when you can't There's sleep another flip there at night. Jeez, 
Jesus, that was a song and a half. You could feel the pain within it. I know she's talking about people getting divorced, but I feel like she went through that personally. We have people like that in society too. They hang there and every time they break, it entertains us. Yeah. Oh, wow. That, what she said right there is crazy. What happens to an artist when you're living through a pandemic? Yeah, you start there, you start. You start to dream. Yep. God, everything that she just said right there was so amazing and so deep and heartfelt and looking in on yourself. I think it, who she is, dude, I would totally hang out with her. I would totally hang out with her. We'd have some great kickback conversations. I think we'd get along really well. I'm a miracle. I'll show you every version of yourself tonight. So she does have a, a vocal habit when she's writing that she tends to hit high notes and then she drops down and hits really, really low notes and then goes back up. Da, 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 da. And then she'll go back up high again. But I'm still on my toilet. And there it is again with the flip into the falsetto back into the chest. Da, 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 da. This seems like a pattern within her writing. I'm a mirror ball. I'll show you everything. I think the beauty in what this whole album is so far is that I feel like this is truly her. And because of COVID, this gave her the opportunity to not worry, not worry about what the record labels thought and really be her. Pass down like folk songs, the love lasts so you can tell these are fresh. The songs are fresh and they haven't really sung them much because she's even looking at the lyrics. And even though she wrote the song, she still has to review the lyrics. And it's kind of like proof that this is the raw version of it. I love that concept of when did we stop just throwing a tantrum, just screaming? When did we start hiding all of this? And I know, especially during the pandemic, this song especially would really be suited for so many people because we all had to play on the outside like everything was okay, but inside, you don't know. You're scared, you're angry. There were so many levels of complexity that were going on inside. And sometimes you just want to scream, you know? I've just been like naming her that in my head. Oh, that changes things for me. She's written nameless to me, but now it's forever changed. <laughs> I love it. That I had written down in my phone, Meet Me Behind the Mall, years ago, wanting to write it into a song. So Okay, this song I've heard before. If you are loving this watch party highlight and you wanna see the entire movie with me as I analyze her whole album and the whole deal, then you need to come on over to my Patreon. On Patreon, we have the screen and the audio. There is no edits, no cuts. It's just me hanging out with you guys watching the whole thing. We also have different videos coming up for Evolution of Voice where I analyze her vocals starting younger to older and we discuss different songs and the story behind the songs and the emotional turmoil and our inner diaries, so to speak, of what talks about in that song. We also have weekly watch parties from Once Upon a Time and Glee, High School Musical, the musical, the series, as well as other musical movies every single month lots of live events and bonus features with different albums, including more Taylor Swift movies. So come on over, it's only five bucks a month. That's it, skip coffee one time, just one time. That's it, and get an entire month hanging out with us with over 2000 members where we chat like a lot. I will be sure to put the link to my Patreon down below. But I can see it's lost in the memory all yesterday Yeah, I See, there's that jump, the flip, and then the low notes in it. You were never mine. Uh, 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 I can't even do that. I should squeeze the voice at the end. Uh, the beginning of the song, da, 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 sounds like the other song. Cancel plans just in case you call and say, meet me behind the mall. So much for summer love and saying us, cause you were Even when she belts, she still keeps it really held back to give it that gentle feeling to it. So it's not a large, heavy, big, powerful belt. It still has a feeling of innocence behind it. Vulnerability. Remember when I pulled up and said, get in the car and then cancel my plane. <laughs> 
she really connects with her guitarist a lot. You can tell they're buddies. Like, that is just really awesome. That feeling there when she looks to him like, yeah. That not driving off the cliff is an act of trying. Yeah. Yeah. Which is almost the ultimate act of trying. That's amazing. Is really lost in life and then starts drinking and every second is trying not to. God, that's just... It's so true and I absolutely relate to that feeling of not knowing what you're doing and not having a roadmap and sometimes you feel like all you do is fail even though you're trying your best. I just wanted you to know that this is me trying. This one might get me. <laughs> I can relate to this feeling. All of my cages were mental so I got wasted like all my potential. The stories that she tells with her music, I think that's really what sets her apart from a lot of the top artists out there. That this is me trying. I just wanted you to know. This is me trying. I think it's beautiful. I was kind of outside of my own personal stuff. Hmm, that's interesting. It tells them something that they could read in a tabloid. Interesting. It, okay. it to me feels like it feels like a completely different experience. It's her without boundaries is what I was saying before. COVID allowed her the experience to make this album without the boundaries and restrictions of following the pattern of what would be popular. She just could do what she wanted. Take the road less travels by. Guitar. Tell yourself you can always stop. Stop. I like all that excess air on there. Not stop, but stop. Single glance, but it dies and it dies and it dies. There's that jump again. A million little times. I think it's beautiful to start to see the pattern within her writing, at least in this album alone. Every singer has patterns. A dwindling mercurial high. Mm. I love how she does this. This basically tells her where to place the note and to float it. And this physically reminds her. A million little times. God, these are all beautiful stories. Song that is all about fate, and that was another moment where I just felt there was this serendipity <laughs> happening. That's so cool. What a chemistry. What a um, great connection like there. Making it was you took exactly what I had written and it was as though we wrote it together in a room. Isn't it just so pretty to think? All along there was some invisible string mm, tying you to me. Oh, it's like you can envision the string within that, that spread of notes. I just really see it decorated across. Time cutting me open, then he let me fire. Mm. Were there clues I didn't see? Tying you to me. I like that pattern there. String the pull me. Time wonder is time. Give me the blues and that purple pink skies. Yeah, I like that. Tying you to me. Yeah, I like it. It is my favorite song so far. <laughs> is still keeping that rhythm so well Ooh, mad, mad woman. woman the first time i heard that piano thing you had written i just felt like it's got this these these sort of ominous strings underneath it and i was like oh this is female rage <laughs> by having any kind of defense to yeah. his offenses it's mm. like interesting oh i have absolutely no right to respond or i'm crazy yeah yeah you're crazy we heard that a lot as a woman Okay, I'm excited about this one. <laughs> what did you think I'd say to that? God, that piano is really cool sounding. Do you see my face in the neighbor's lawn? Does she smile? What does she mouth? You forever. Oh, what? Did she just say fuck you? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Tay Tay. Oh, crazy. What about that? Huh. Sometimes I really want her to just let loose. Bah! 
it, like really let it out and then warm on and then come back down. Like I, I want more from her sometimes. I feel like her music has that. Be crazy again, more crazy, what about that? Oh, I love that attitude that she has here with her hand and her head. No one likes a mad woman. Yeah, I want that. You made her like I want that. More from there. And you poke that bear too. I know this is acoustic and it probably sounds totally different normally, but uh. he's just the poor pianist. I feel like bad on songs like this because I feel like he's just looping the same thing over and over and over again. And I, I think he would want to change it up a little bit, but musically, he doesn't need it for this style of song. When I heard it, I remember thinking maybe I want to tell a sports story. <laughs> what? <laughs> Because I had just watched The Last Dance. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, taking a 20 minute break in between shifts at a hospital yeah. who are having this kind of trauma happen to them right now that they will yep. probably never want to speak about. Yep. You know, lockdown could have been a time where I absolutely lost my mind. And instead, I think, you know, this album was like a real flotation device for both of us. God, that's just beautiful. Just all the things that she says, she's so in depth and so aware, and I, I, I absolutely love it. Oh, that was cool. Oh, I love that. It's bleeding out. That's intense. And some things you just can't speak about. Hold your hand through plastic now. Oh. Talk, I think she's crashing out. I had a friend who is a doctor in Los Angeles and she would tell me stories about her day during COVID and that's what I think of when I hear this. With you I serve, with you I fall down. Just one single glimpse of relief to make some sense of what you've seen, make sense of what you've seen. He just feels it. He just closes his eyes and he just feels it. Oh, is this Betty? Is this what they're talking One about? One of my with favorite Betty? things about this record is the fact that there's this trilogy of three, the, the trinity of Betty, August, and Cardigan. And I just was like, hello. <laughs> From a teenage boy's perspective, apologizing after he loses the love of his life because he's been foolish. Allegedly. Hmm. No, he's been foolish. No, according to the internet, we don't know what it's about. There's he's something. been foolish. <laughs> oh my God. I love their banter back and forth. <laughs> you can tell they've become good friends. Sure to fetch a party. Would you have me? Would you want me? Would you tell me to go myself? <laughs> it always throws me off when she says fuck. <laughs> This is so true, because all of her songs are always from the other perspective. Only 17, I don't know anything, but I know I miss you. I like that space between miss and then you. It gives a moment of break in between and longing for more. Look at his face, he's so cute. He always just the... Betty, I'm here on you. That was great. He was looking at her for the cue of like, okay, are we ready to pick up? Okay. Yeah, sort of that's your party. Will you have me? Will you oh, the modulation. Me? Will you Did you hear that? It shifted up higher to change the difference. This is what she used to do with her music. I can't Ugh. help it if there's a guy with a long lens camera two miles away with a telescope lens taking pictures of you. I can't. Damn, that's crazy. To sort of block out the things that I can't. Yeah. Um, oh, that's gotta feel suffocating, absolutely suffocating. You want them to have as much peace in their life as possible and, and reconciling the fact that y you might not be their best option for that. Wow, God, every one of these songs is just such an emotional roller coaster of looking inside and seeing who you are and seeing what you deal with and exploring all of them. And it's just around the corner, yeah. darling. There's that pattern again. My eclipsed sun, this has broken me down. Okay, this sounds a little bit different. She's My choosing. Twisted. Yeah, da 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 
Uh, they're a little bit of a key difference. It sounds a little bit different than what the pattern she's been having with most of her songs, just a little bit. You know I left a part of me back in New York That's when they pulled me apart My only one I think the lake sort of sounds like a testament of what what I wanted to escape from and where I saw myself escaping. I've always in my career, since I was probably about 20, written about this sort of cottage cottage backup plan that I have. You've been writing Go. about forever. <laughs> yep. The idea of getting away and figuring out how to remove the things that are not working in one's life is mm. the story of this time. Yeah. yeah. If you're not thinking about that, I don't know what you're thinking about. God, I can relate to that one on so many levels and so many times in my life. Cynical clones, these hunters with cell phones. Take me to the hunters lakes where all the poets wow. went to die. I don't belong, but not without my muse. Tell me what are my words were. <laughs> Take me to the lakes you see that look? You see that look? Oh, that sounds beautiful. And the bass comes in. Oh, love it. Oh. I'm glad how to do it. <laughs> Who she is and her in-depth of looking inside of being self-analyzing. She seems like so in touch with things at a deeper level, more than I think the mass majority, truthfully. And she's able to vocalize what that feels like and what she's going through. And um, I feel like, like I said, it's a beautiful mix of that. Plus she's just so self-aware and just so chill. Like I would totally hang out with her, but I never really connected all of that that I love about her to her music. Cause I just, I never learned any of the backstories. I never understood why the words were what she said and never really took the time truthfully. And this is the first time that I've actually stepped back and really listened in and heard the story of each one and really listened to the lyrics. That, I, I mean, it just kind of leaves me speechless. Like, I just, it's just beautiful. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this with me. I really, really appreciate you being here. Um, sending you all my love and I will see you in the next watch party. La la la. <laughs>